impact. They think that uh, they wanted him evaluated. Now we are being told the evaluation shows he does have a concussion. Will Power has a concussion, so they were good to hold him out today. And for the lead on the restart, Connor Daly, Tony Kanon, and a variety of others scrapping for spots. Connor kept the lead. On inside again. A wheel to wheel with Tony Kanon. What a great drive. <laughs> now he's just got to. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Half the field in a wreck. Morning hour, rush hour. What a view. <laughs> this looks like downtown what? Tokyo. A lot of uh, finger communication. So Graham Rahal being emphatic with his uh, gestures. All right, we're not going to give up on this thing. If we get it back here, we're going to try to get it going. Wow. Listen to all the cars on the red line. Cars coming out from the escape road also. Wow. All of this down at turn four at the end of that long straightaway. And he's got a flat tire, too. One, two, three. So I counted nine. Nine. Now two of then, them have left. Then a tenth one came out from the escape road. Yes, they're starting to leave the crime scene as we speak. Or in Serbia. I have never seen something like that. We have been saying all along that these are very oh, narrow street courses inside of St. Pete. The only car that looks like it has a lot of damage is Ray Hall's. All right, let's uh, see if we can reconstruct. Coming down to the very bumpy turn four, and we see a great battle at the front. But watch what happens here. Everybody goes for that same piece of real estate as we talk about. And then number 26, Carlos Munoz into the back of Graham Ray Hall. The 12 of Oriel Servia, 41, Jack Hawksworth, and everybody else has nowhere to go. From that great battle up front to the collision. Castro I think Nevis it was Castro Dixon. Nevis. Yeah, but that, that didn't. That didn't do what we're separate, looking at. Right. All right, more. Here's James Hinchcliffe's view. got creamed he from did. behind just creamed that wasn't even a bump Oriel Serbia's view <laughs> so Graham Ray Hall and Carlos Munoz the point at which the first contact appeared to begin and set that whole thing off and then once a third car stopped, there was absolutely no room to go, and everybody just came around the corner blind. Well, we're going down city streets, Eddie, that are supposed to be going 30, 35 miles an hour, and we're putting cars down there at 145. And on the restarts, drivers always yeah, anxious to try okay. and pass the other cars because they're close together, take advantage of it, get past two or three cars. Obviously, sometimes it doesn't work. Well, Perfectly mowed off. Part of what's going to happen here is there's a lot of debris at the accident site, but as these damaged cars drive back around to the pit lane, they're going to leave some things too. So there's going to be some cleanup to be done on the race course before we go back racing. Uh, some interesting views of a big mess just past halfway, turn four. St. Pete. 
An expensive moment for sure down in turn four as uh, up to 10 cars were stacked up out of a 22 car starting field. Trouble that began between Graham Rahal and Carlos Munoz. to say that a lot of that started because they were so closely packed up together with the battle that with having Daly holding off his elite position. More on that in a moment, but first to look at everyone that caught a piece of that over in turn number four. It's a long list. An expensive repair bill. 